scripture is not a book of spells. Why would I say that? Too often, people who claim belief in the Most High and in the scriptures as the word of God use the scriptures like magic spells. Like just throwing stuff out there out of just a head knowledge and almost like a bibbity boppity boo like you know Cinderella's godmother the scriptures are not a spooky book it is a book of legal principles legal precedent laws the heart the mind the thought the intention of the most high that when we begin to understand and we begin to apply those principles to our lives, we see change, right? So many times the clients that we help and we walk them through being from beginning as victims to being victors, it's not because some spooky dust came out of the, out of the sky because we prayed. No. We teach and apply principles from the word. And those principles, when we when we allow them to be soaked into our consciousness, when we begin to think on them, we begin to meditate on them, when we begin to see the relationship between how we are violating a law and what, what results we're seeing in our life, then we begin to change. Then we see healing in our lives. One of the biggest legal principles me as a practitioner that I have had to share with many a people who have gone into court without an attorney and had a really bad outcome. They say to me, Shar, I didn't know the law. And you know what I and many attorneys have to advise people in that situation? Ignorance of the law is no excuse. You are not excused by the law because you did not know the law. No, why? Because the law operates. It is an operation, whether or not you know about it. You don't have to know the law that what goes up must come down. It is going to operate every single time automatically. Why? Because it is a law. It is a principle. It is something that is set in motion. And it governs us from the spirit realm into what we see happening in our reality. So the scriptures are not a book of spells. We don't get to just, you know... Go around and just repeating verses or memorizing scriptures and somehow they just magically change things. No, the change happens here. What we teach are principles of healing. Those laws that so many of us have lived in ignorance, we have not known. All we knew was the little, the little uh, happily ever after story that was given to us all these children's movies and romances. They ride off into the sunset with the little, the little soda cans behind the, the carriage and they all live happily ever after. That's a spell. One of the biggest deceptions that have so many of us in our marriage is struggling because we're wondering, why is everybody else posting selfies of them skipping, skipping through a field of flowers smiling and I'm over here struggling? Because we don't know the law. We don't understand the principles of love and marriage. We don't understand how we've been living in violation with the things we think and the things we say and the way we act. They all have to line up with what thus says the Lord. That's why we struggle in our marriages. So here at Law for Love, we walk our clients through a journey. For some of our clients, that journey is divorce. Why? Because some things must die. And we have helped Several families, including pastors, reconcile when they said that old thing must die so that we can renew something that's in line with the, the will of the Most High. So sometimes that journey is through a separation or through a divorce. And sometimes that journey is just for one side to heal if we don't work with both of y'all. And I tell you this. One person gets serious about healing themselves will influence the entire family to heal. It is a law. My name is Shar Salasi. I would love to have a conversation with you about how we can journey together to heal and to begin to apply those principles 
Because the Father's heart is that your soul prosper and that your life becomes the evidence of his love.